Welcome to the Robertson Hill Introductory Virtual Tour developed in part by the UT Center for Community Engagement, Visit Austin, and Six Square. This tour will highlight just a few locations in the neighborhood and is the first installment in a series of upcoming creative projects that will amplify the rich cultural history and legacy of Robertson Hill. Hello, my name is Harrison Hepbright and I will be your virtual tour guide on this tour of Robertson Hill located in historic East Austin and taking in parts of what was once of Freedmen's communities as well as communities of, of people of other colors and ethnicities as well. I am standing here at Lot Pocket Park located at 1180 Curb Street in the historic Robertson Hill neighborhood in East Austin. High school classes for African American students started in the Robertson Hill School in 1889. In 1907, the school was moved to a new building at Olive and Curb Streets and named Anderson High School. Right here was the original Anderson High School. Anderson High School moved to 1607 Pennsylvania Avenue in 1913 and Olive and the Curb Streets buildings were repurposed as the Olive Street School here on this spot for elementary students. Olive Street School burned in 1974. We are now standing in front of the Olivet Baptist Church, which was first established on May 4th, 1928. This congregation originally met in the Mosby Lot building on San Jacinto Street. Their first minister was a former minister of First Baptist Church in Austin, Pastor Joseph H. Harrington. In 1942, Olivet moved to their first building on San Bernard Street, and in 1961, the current building we see today was designed and built. This building was designed by John S. Chase, the first black licensed architect here in Texas, and also the first black to graduate from the University of Texas School of Architecture in 1952. Olivet Baptist Church celebrated their 85th anniversary in 2013 and is now pastored by Edward Fleming Sr. Here we are today folks on historic San Bernard Street in the Robertson Hill uh, district here in East Austin and we're on a street that is significant in many many ways and it is significant as a place where many uh, middle-class African-Americans started moving uh, to starting about 1912 and continuing through the 1930s into the 1940s also it is located over in the area that was originally uh, that, that was set aside as the Negro district part of the Negro district the, the the plan the master plan that was approved by Austin City Council in 1928 designating six square miles in east the east part of the city as a Negro district now we are at one of the historic sites that are on this street that is on San Bernard we're standing here on the steps of Wesley United Methodist Church Wesley United Methodist Church is one of the oldest congregations in the city African-American or white after the Civil War ended in 1865, the original African-American congregants who worshiped at Old 10th Street, who worshiped there with slaves, wanted to organize a congregation of their own. And so that led to what would eventually become Wesley United Methodist Church. It started out as Wesley Chapel, in fact, Wesley Chapel Methodist Episcopal Church.